Welcome to an episode of the Old Man Whiteboard Series featuring the legendary Mike McKenna. First, our sponsors. Our first sponsor is Launchpad Kickoff Tee. The Launchpad Kickoff Tee. Listen up. This tee will win ball games for you. Find out what you are missing from your kickoff game. Take control and execute with the Launchpad Kickoff Tee. Now legal for high school nationwide. Win more games with the Launchpad. Check out the link on the page here below or go to launchpadkickofftee.com and juice up your special teams. Our second sponsor is Coach Stone's Football Drill Manual Series. 2021 is the year to go hashtag back to the basics with Coach Stone's Football Drill Manual Series. It is a combined 300 plus football drills and over 4,000 pages of football intelligence or FBI. All the content within the Football Drill Manual Series builds on each other to offer consistent coaching while laying a foundation. Let's face it, 2020 was not easy for any of us to navigate sports, whether or not you were fortunate enough to have a season, or if your season was put on hold until this year, now's the time to go back to the basics to lay a foundation in 2021. New in 2021, on May 1st, Coach Stone released the second issue of his free digital quarterly magazine, CSF Coaching Magazine. Later this year, he is releasing his new coaching course, CSF Coaching Framework, which provides a consistent foundation to coaching. For more information, go to CoachStoneFootball.com, his YouTube channel, Coach Stone Football, Back to the Basics, or his Twitter at Coach underscore Stone underscore MT. Information from both our sponsors can be seen below in the bio. Please check out them and our affiliates below. You can also check out our Patreon if you are interested in supporting our channel, um, whether you're supporting us through the Patreon or through purchasing through our affiliates, it is greatly appreciated. And here is an episode of The Old Man's Whiteboard featuring the legendary Mike McKenna. Our coverages were uh, cover three, cover two, um, cover four, and cover one and cover six. Cover six was our quarter, quarter half. But first, I'll go through cover three. It's like every other, everybody else that runs cover three. Um, we will run reroute on number two if they're going vertical. We, we, will, we will collision there. Um, but our, our corners are going to take the deep third. Free, take, free safety is going to take the middle third. Our strong safety is going to take the flat. Our weak safety is going to take the flat. Um, these uh, stack backers are going to work to curl and then go middle. That's our basic cover three drop. A little rush three. Now, linebackers, if, if, for example, if one of them is going on a blitz, then the mic is going to replace his coverage. Okay, he's the, the mic is going to be the adjuster on coverage. Now, if the mic is going, then they, the stack backers know they, they're recovering the, their zones, um, and they're looking for the, they're going to work inside out, so they'll work to the curls. Um, that is our cover three. Our cover, our cover three versus a three by one, um, what we like to do is, is the cloud coverage or, or what some people refer to, but we're gonna have our corner come up and we're gonna jam that number one receiver. Our safety is gonna rotate over and do a cover two look. Um, if we're gonna run cover three, um, our safeties are going to rotate over to coverage. He'll take the outside third. He'll take the middle third, and he'll have the backside deep third. Um, our strong safety will have the curl. Um, he will work to number three on a vertical and carry him if he needs to. Um, but eyes are on number two because we're going to match it up. Um, we'll match it up with these guys. But anyway, if we're if we're sending the linebacker, then they're going to replace each other's coverage. For example, if, if he's going, he's going to come to that curl on that side, and so forth. So he might work middle. Um, that's how we cover three against a three by one set. In a two by two set, if we're going to run cover cover two, um, we will just rotate our safeties over. And then understand it, we would walk up in our cover two and we would jam and we would run like a palms coverage, but we're going to actually read number two. 
Cornerstone. So we'll match up whatever routes are doing. Uh, and these guys will work in underneath uh, the cover. So um, these guys will have deep paths on our cover too. Um, it turns into man coverage eventually after about seven yards. So um, if they do go in a three by one set, nothing changes. Everything is still the same. We're going to hard corner it on the back side. We'll, we're going to run the number two is going to be in the backfield on that case. Um, in our cover two, though, um, what we like to do is we, in practice, we will work, for example, our, our corner, um, if he reads number two on, on some kind of outbreaking route, he's going to release number one to the inside for the safety. Um, he will pick up the flat cover. But his rule is first one through the flat becomes his man. So if the guy would turn around a wheel route or an out and up route, that's, that's his man because we're matching up. So it's that first man through is, is coverage. That is his man coverage. Number one for us was we just the corners at number one and our, our safeties at number two. And these guys, the inside backers, would have number three to depend on the release of the guy. Um, and then he had deep, he had deep middle coverage and he just read the quarterback side. Um, and if we're cover one is called and they motion across into trips that line up in trips, our, our weak safety would come over and we'd man up number three. And that's what we did. We, we just chased across. We did not rotate. Uh, we chased, um, but they would match up. So if, for example, if we're in cover one, and they would motion across. And if he went outside, they would determine, because he had number two, he had number one, and then the weak safety coming across, we had number three. So depending on where the snap of the ball is, that's where they'd match up. So if they went here, that's what they did. If they were in some kind of uh, configuration where they, where they condensed the set like that, we would literally take our, our weak safety. He would be off the ball. He'd be on the ball. And our strong safety would be on top of that number, on the whatever she was on the line of scrimmage. So they would lock up here. They would just jam, jam him so much that they couldn't use him as a pick route. But these guys would play bracket coverage on these guys. So they would literally drop off. We called a banjo. Um, and whoever broke to the outside, he took the outside route, and he would take the inside route. So as they softened up, he locked up, so it didn't matter. And that's how we covered compressed coverages in man. Uh, one of the things that we like to do is, is we would continuously just kind of line up in a cover one look, and then we'd move our guys around on cadence. Um, but in our cover six, um, our quarter quarter half to the field. Our corner had the quarter free safety had the other quarter. Our other safety had the half, and he was a hard corner. So he, he was in the flat. But he would rotate back and be a nice deep safety. He would rotate over, um, and on, on the snap, he's going to bail out. He had the flat. He had the curl. So you'd have middle, and he had curl to that side. That is our base cover six. Now, if if we would send somebody, um, you know, that linebacker would have to replace the coverage that was left open. Um, and we worked that in practice. That wasn't a real difficult thing. They just knew who was going. But that is our cover six, quarter, quarter, half. Um, it's pretty basic stuff. But we like to disguise everything we did.